What's up guys? It's your boy Nismo Kev. I got another video for you guys today. I got my package in recently from Z1 Motorsports. So we're going to be installing my new patch struts on my 370Z because if you guys saw my previous video, you guys know that I installed the louvers and my new duckbill. So those things weigh a little. So now my hatch is struggling to come up. So I went ahead and got the maximum high power struts. So I'm going to test them out see how strong they really are. I had it on my 350 before. I had the medium ones. So these were the maximum ones. So I wanna see if there's a big difference or not. So the install is gonna be pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna take these out of the box for you guys, give you guys a little time lapse of that. And then we're gonna get on to putting it on the car. Alright guys, so here we go. They're the maximum high power hatch struts for the 370Z. This is all that comes in the box. I don't know why they gave me such a big box for all this. I guess they're just being extra with the packaging. But, double checking if there's anything extra. But... Nope. It's just this, so that big old box was just for these. So now I'm gonna back the car in and then we're gonna get started from there. All right guys, so I backed the car into the garage just so we can see it. I want you guys to see how it is with the wing and the louvers, the issue I'm having. So when I push the button, as you can see the hatch barely comes up. I have to push it twice in order for it to come and then the hatch just falls straight down. I have to get at least halfway in order for it to go full. And there you go. So, hopefully, with the installation of these new struts, we'll see the big difference. So I just wanted you guys to see that before we install the new ones, just for your reference in case you're debating, you know, if you have a bigger wing, you know, how strong you need to get the struts. So it'll be for you guys, because I know I had those questions when I wanted to put my struts on because there's two versions and I wasn't sure which strength to get. So hopefully this answers some of you guys' questions. All right, so let's get this going. All right guys, so the instructions say there's this pin. I don't know if you guys can grab it on camera. There it is. So there's that locking pin. You're gonna have to take that pin off. So you can just push this out with your finger and just like that. So you just push it off. So you're gonna put this locking pin once you have it on the hatch, okay? So once you take that off, then you'll be good. So we just gotta remove the old ones first, so I'll walk you guys through that. Okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna get this top one off. So top one's off. I'm just gonna twist this with the flat. comes off just like that so I want to give you guys a close-up so you can see where exactly you have to line it up so just let the camera focus and it is on that side so if you see the two holes so once you have it inside the socket you're just gonna to want to line it in so you see the two holes right there and it'll pop out right there and then you're just twisting it and then it locks just like that so you're gonna to want to lock this in on the bottom one once you have everything set in place and it should line up like I said, to help make sure that the bottom piece lines up, you just have to push the hatch a little bit higher and it makes it going in super easy. This is All right guys, so the new ones, we're gonna put the top on first. So they should just pop into place. Then you're gonna to wanna to raise this a little more so you can line it up. So it helps if you raise the hatch a little more and it makes it a lot smoother to line it in. So I got mine in already. So now we're gonna to wanna to put the locking pins on the bottom ones.
There you go. Okay guys, so now it's gonna be the moment of truth for these struts to see if they really do solve my issue. So I push the button and the hatch doesn't go all the way up. It makes me have to push it twice and that's something I don't want and I wanna get rid of. But once I really tap it, as you can see, it goes all the way up by itself. So that's a plus one on that is the strength. So I'm gonna show you guys another mod that you can do if you wanna to try to solve this issue. On the 350Z and the 370Z, if you remove the cover right here in the hatch, on both cars you will find, I believe it's a five, 10 pound weight that's on here. So weight reduction in a sense. So it's just four bolts holding this in. Take this off and then more than likely your hatch will be going up a lot easier. So I'm gonna do that and see if it solves my issue. If not, there's another hack where you put pennies in these little rubber stoppers here and it helps the hatch pop up. So you normally get that if your car's worn out, but my car is brand spanking new, so I don't know why I'm having this issue. I think it's just this weight, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you guys a little montage of me taking that off, and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay, guys, so I got that little weight off. It's a good, I'll say like five, seven pounds, if anything. So I wonder if this makes a difference. We'll see right now. Toss this garbage out. Okay, now let's see if it made a difference. Okay, take two, we'll see. Give you guys a little close up right there. See if it lifts it. Yes, that solves our issue. I don't have to push it twice anymore. It does it on the first try. So, hopefully that solves your guys' issue. Because I'm really glad that it solved mine. So now I'm just gonna throw the cover back on but all in all guys I got these from Z1 Motorsports they're the maximum high power hatch struts I believe they were I want to say $80 88 it's between the 70 and 90 dollar range with shipping and everything but I totally recommend them there's two levels that you can get there's the maximum and I think there's like the medium one which is a little stronger than the OEM ones but I do know that they both do come with warranty so if that's something I know that you guys are interested in and you're worried that they won't last, have that ease of mind that they do come with warranty in case something happens, they are covered between a certain amount of time. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can get them and also see the warranty that they offer. Thanks for tuning in guys and following me through this journey that we have going on in the new build for the 370 because I have a lot more parts coming in for it and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Just know we're gonna be going full motor dyne on this car, so stay tuned for that one. And don't worry, I haven't forgot about that exhaust clip. So just be patient with me and I will have new sound clips and more content coming for you guys. So thanks for tuning in guys. Peace.